Hi, my name is Rob Barber from Bodyboard Holidays and today I'm going to talk to you about safely and effectively getting into the water from a rocky start and getting back out of the water through the rocks as well. Okay, so we all know that getting in off the rocks can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what to do and certainly the first few times that you do it, um, you can come a cropper if you're not careful. So the first thing that I always say is, before you're going to get off the rocks, watch them for a while and make sure they're not getting swashed over by sets and that it's going to be safe to do it. Um, so then you pick your way through the rocks and try and make sure that you stand on the dry rocks all the time as you're walking out. Now the key here is to use your bodyboard as a walking aid. So you've got obviously both your feet on the rocks but your bodyboard is the third point on the rock so it's got you in that kind of tripod sort of stable status so that even if one of your foots goes, steady yourself on your bodyboard. That's a really good um, tip to use. Try and stand on the rocks at the highest in the water, so don't put your feet down in the holes in between them. That's where the urchins live, if you're in foreign countries, you know, tropical places. Um, and also you don't want to risk getting your foot caught in between rocks and generally nothing good happens down in those dark places. So just keep your feet on the high rocks, okay, and walk out. But all the time, don't get engrossed in where you're walking. Keep looking up and watching the ocean, okay, so make sure that you're not going to get caught out by any incoming waves. The key is really to get out quickly. So you're gonna wait for an opportunity when a set comes and then that set's passed by, you've got a lull. When the water draws back, move quickly across the rocks as quickly and safely as you can. Get to a point where you feel as though you've got an area of deepish water in front of you. Then this is the key point. Wait for a wave to come in. As the wave comes in, dive over the back of the wave and then paddle as quickly as you can to get into deep water. Okay, when you paddle, don't use your legs. Try and use your arms. Take shallow strokes if you can, like sideways strokes rather than deep strokes, and that will get you through that deep water area or through that shallowish area into the deep water as quickly and safely as possible. If you kick with your legs, you can bang your knees on the, on the rocks occasionally. Okay, so that's getting out. Now, getting back in again, the key to this is to kind of uh, use your bodyboard to your best advantage. So don't be kind of worried about scratching up your bodyboard and things like that. They're pretty resilient bits of kit. Just find your way through the rocks the best you can. So the, the most sandy channel that you can is the one that you want to head for. Um, again, try and catch the last wave of a set so that you can ride it straight in up the rocks without there being a big set behind you that you're going to have to worry about. And catch that wave and ride that white water all the way in through the rocks, weave in as far in as you possibly can until you literally run aground. And then when you run aground, put your hands on the deck of the bodyboard, stand yourself up, use your bodyboard as a walking aid then, and do everything that I said about getting into the water, but in reverse. So you're gonna try and walk from rock to rock, standing on the ones that are the least slimy, the least slippy, the ones that are the driest, not putting your feet in any holes. And basically don't dawdle, whether you're coming in Get, whether you're getting into the water or whether you're getting out of the water, don't hang around in that area any longer than you need to. The least that you can dawdle, the better, um, because that can be quite a dangerous zone. And if you can get through it quite quickly, um, then you want to, uh, then, then that's the way to, to deal with it. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Good luck with your rock hopping and um, drop us a line if we can be a help to you with any bodyboarding tips. Uh, we hope to see you on a bodyboard holiday soon.